Hey guys, it's Rav, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find the new bunker in DayZ, and how to complete the secret puzzles hidden within. Now, I'll give a spoiler warning before I show any of the inside of the bunker, in case you just want to know the location so that you can explore it yourself. And do remember, if you do get stuck, you can always come back to this video. The first thing you want to do is locate a punch card from around the map. These are needed to access the bunker. Once acquired, head down to the town of Palana. Once here, find a gas station and follow the road west. This is the road that the military tent is on. Make sure you have plenty of food and water as this road is quite long. But eventually, you should stumble upon a dirt road to the right. If you continue to follow this road, you'll end up at the exit of the bunker. However, we want to take the road down to the right, which will bring us to the military base. Right, so it's at this military base that you'll actually find the entrance to the bunker. Pass these two military barracks behind the ruin building door. Now, to actually get in here, it's not already open. And if it is already open, another player would have recently been inside. So you use this thing. So what you need is you need to find one of, the, one of these, a punch card. We found around the map. One of these. Use it. As you can see, they can be used multiple times. Turn mine. One. It'll just take quite a while to open. Once open, you can head on inside. Now this door doesn't open, but you'll have to go around through here, open that up. You've got to be careful because this is a really good spot for other players to camp. Uh, as you see, as soon as the door opens, you can see straight into there. You can even sort of check, like so. so. You come through here, the door's always open, and through this other little door. And then you're in at the bunker, just straight here. So this is the, the first floor. The deeper you go, the more floors there are. Door is blocked. Same is same can be said for this one over here. Actually, get the first bit of bunker loot in these two rooms. That's a bit sort of open garage, but it's sort of a workshop in here. This door actually works, but we'll come back to that in a moment. This one is blocked. Another room. Full of storage boxes. We set for the room on the opposite side. actually takes you upstairs to another part of the bunker so we'll head up there takes you to another block staircase a bit of a hidey hole have another little living quarters showers
Small staircase is going up and down. Small staircase is going up and down. You have two options. You can either go left or right. Both staircases lead you to the same. You can go left, we'll go down first. This takes us back down to the floor we were on. So at the end of the floor that we were on. That's the door we used to get up. These those doors just take you to either either. So we can actually use the left one to get back up. As you can see, we're back where we started. So we'll go all the way up this time. Here we are. Floor. Same door on the other side. Though, do you keep in mind the staircase stops here? Just top of the staircase. But it, whereas this one keeps going. Now you come in here, there's some more living quarters. Server room. Doors on the end here. little blocked off room okay so, up we go we're at this this top part we can't actually go out through this door so it's not doesn't give the prompt get out through here we use this that triggers the door and exit the bunker but this tower That's behind you pretty quickly. Down there was the entrance to the bunker. But that's not it for the bunker. If we actually go back to that very door we saw at the beginning, the second sort of 01 room, there's another door here which leads down. Follow this down. Get into this water room. You can actually come through here to the left. A little sort of office room. Or another one of these rooms. The cool thing about this water room, you can turn these. And that'll raise the water slowly. Wanted to go a bit quicker, turn the other one. This will eventually empty it. Let's instantly fill it. Well, because it's. But it's actually going to empty. You see, it's just sort of empty. It will actually empty more than that. Normally, it doesn't do it while you look. Oh, it's filling back up again. Maybe a bit buggy from what I found. But if you just leave it a minute, it will eventually empty. Okay. now. So now you come down. Now that is drained. Crouch into this sewer. Be a ladder. Climb this ladder. The third floor. Now you have to be quick because sometimes it fills up on its own accord. If it fills up too much you won't be able This is the second story. You can come around here to the left, but there isn't actually much down here. Just sort of a dead end. One of those other blocked off staircases in here. Another blocked off staircase. Interestingly, there's a little medical area right here at the end. So that's all there is on this sort of level. Really around here. Head back, climb up, ladder out. However, there is a third floor. As you can see, we can also go this way through the tunnel. Going this way, it will lead us to this. However, the ladder's broken. So we need the water to rise. The only way to do that is really use of a teammate. So with another teammate, have them, while you're standing here, actually have another teammate rise the water all the way so that you can 
get up here. Another teammate turns on the red tap. You see the water slowly begins to rise. But once but once they've risen over the tunnel, you'll be trapped in the other two rooms. You can only access the exit out of the first room. But let's say in this scenario, you have a teammate. They turn on this. Fully raises the water. And now swimming in this because they've risen the water. Get on the ladder. Okay. The third floor. I'm assuming that this will be the best loot in the bunker as it's the hardest to get to. Not very big though. Got one room here. Is that back? Literally, yeah. Room. Get yeah, back, you simply have to wait for the water to drain. Yeah, the water's completely gone. Though we don't want to jump. There's actually no way down to get safely down. Jump from here, you will break your legs. So what you need to do is again have your teammate pull just a red one. So that's probably about deep enough now. So we could actually go along, simply just, and now we're swimming. So we've just got to sit in this water, wait for it to fill up to this ledge. Once on this platform, you can then swim across and grab the ladder and climb up to the second floor. Then we need to have our teammate empty it one more time. That's all gone, get on the ladder. Slide down. All the way. Okay. And then back up these stairs to exit the bunker. Thanks for watching, that's been today's video. If you found it helpful, a like and a comment are very much appreciated. Catch you in the next one.